So I am making another Gordon Ramsay recipe. Pork chops, mashed potatoes, caramelized apple. And there's also some braised cabbage. So for the for pork chops, I'm gonna try that first. I have everything ready. I have all the garlic and salt and shallots, pepper, some cream. Instead of heavy cream, I'm using half and half. Uh, I don't like using cream a lot. <laughs> um, there's the chicken stock. I got some apple whiskey. This, I'm using apple um, JP Weisers. And then I have some beautiful pork. So I'm gonna cut that into pork chops. And if you look, it's, it's, it's a beautiful roast. It's actually a pork loin ribbon roast. It's called a French uh, rack. And so I'm gonna take this beautiful French knife and I'm gonna cut it into six and then I'll have a little bit left over without a bone. Now we want the fat on here. It's a little bit of fat. When we cook it in the frying pan, this is gonna render and make it really, really flavorful. Now you can see I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I have one extra uh, without the bone. So uh, not only is it gonna taste really good, but they're also gonna look really beautiful. So the next step is to put the oil in the frying pan, which I've done. And they asked for avocado oil, but I'm using coconut oil because I like the flavor. Um, and so now I'm gonna take it and start cooking. So here I am, I'm gonna just do one so I can show you, okay? So I put it in the pan, and then what I'm gonna do is I am gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. Now I'm gonna sear it, uh, and uh, I will let you see once I turn it over. I'm gonna sear it for about a minute, minute and a half, and we'll go from there. Okay, so now I'm gonna take it, beautiful. And I'm gonna render it, putting it on its side, so you can render that fat. So you want it to be on its side like that. So I'm gonna leave that there for um, another minute to three minutes. Yeah, the shallots and some garlic, and then I'm just gonna cook until translucent. I add the alcohol, which is three ounces of apple whiskey, and flambe it. And that's it. Looks pretty good. Um, I, this is my second spoon of Dijon mustard that I'm putting in. And then I'm going to add my cream. I remember I'm using half and half instead of uh, heavy syrup, heavy cream I need. So now, I just let it go until it's consistency like this, okay? So it's not too light, it's not too, um, not too heavy. So once it gets like that, then that'll be good to go. So what I'm gonna do is grab a pork chop. I'm just using my hands because I've watched them. I've watched them, no worries. <laughs> and then you just spoon the glaze over and you glaze it and then you just cook it a little bit longer and they'll all be glazed with that wonderful mustard sauce. Ready for the caramelized apple. So the first thing that I've done and my lovely assistant Rob is going to help me. <laughs> so um, we're going to add half of the brown sugar. I don't want to add all of it, just half of it, so I'm just going to scoop it out with my hands, which yes, I have washed. washed. <laughs> so we're going to do that. We're going to stir it around a little bit. So what we want to do is just leave it now and then just kind of swish it. Okay. And we just want to have it so that it, it melts. Okay, so I'm going to let it melt and I will be back that it's not quite melted uh, it's been a little bit we want to make sure that it melts but the flame isn't too high so we'll just keep going until most of it's melted and then uh, we can flambe most of it is is uh, melted so now I'm gonna put in an ounce of apple brandy and my lovely assistant oh lit it on fire <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, awesome. Now we're ready to put in the apples. So now, put in the apples. They're going to be cooked over this beautiful, beautiful sauce. And we want to spoon some on. Right? Whoops. Okay. You want to flip, like just turn the yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Everything's good. Okay. Now we're going to add the rest of the ingredients. So the remainder of the brown sugar. Add that in. Okay. We have cinnamon, a little bit of cloves, whole cloves, and I didn't have anise star, so I just have the seeds. So that's what um, what I'm going to put in. You know, you want that flavor. So there we go. So now we're just going to cook until everything's melted and the sauce has that beautiful consistency of caramel. So far, it looks beautiful and it smells awesome. <laughs> okay, I'll be back when it's done. It looks like they're done. You can see that they're soft. I can actually cut it. Okay, so now I'm going to take everything out and I'll plate it and then we're going to try it. Okay, so we have put some nice sauce on the pork chop, a little bit drizzling over here. We got the, a braised cabbage. We have some mashed potatoes with a little more sauce. And we have those beautiful caramelized apples. Chefs, we're gonna try it. Hmm. Oh my God, that's so good. <laughs> now I gotta try a piece of that apple. And, uh, whoops, gotta cut that. All right. Doesn't that look good? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Mm. This is amazing. Amazing. Mm. I recommend this highly. Thank you for to my helper chef. Have a great day.